created my favorite. This is better. Yep, I always have to watch the corners, make sure nothing's coming around the corner. Oh, this is this big sugar operation. maple syrup farm. Find first gear. There we go. Easy does it. Obviously not the busiest road. All these trees are linked for maple syrup. Somebody's harvesting even these tiny little trees. Wow. Uh oh.
Well, that's the end of that. I swear I'd been down here before, but not going through that padlocked gate. Oh well. You never know until you try. Ah, it was this one. While I was cogitating the map, I was a bit surprised to see Jim turn up on his Honda CB500X. After a brief chat, he headed off, and I followed at my more sedate pace. I can't remember if I was on the convert last time I rode along here. I might have been. difference. All good things eventually end. After another three miles the gravel ends and it's back to the dull world of paved roads. But even paved roads can be fun, especially when they lead to another long stretch of gravel. You may think you're starting to get into the middle of nowhere, then suddenly you'll come across a lovely house. It can be a little disconcerting. Well, they've improved Campbell Road. Tremendously. Last time I came along here it was uh, half this wide and mostly cobbles and mud. Well, I say improved. From my point of view that's not necessarily an improvement. But it's more of a rideable road now. more of a four-wheeler track before. Man, you gotta love torque though. Just let it go down to almost no revs, just ease out of these corners. It makes riding so easy, well, relatively easy, compared to a bike that you gotta rev all the time to get any power. Interesting, you see these little clearings from time to time, and you just know that once upon a time there was a little cabin in there with a few little tiny fields cleared between the rocks and back in the 1850s or the 1830s. Some poor sucker was 
trying to make a living out of, the, out of this uh, environment. Must have been pretty hard scrabble. But I suppose it was your hard scrabble rather than, well, you were probably booted off wherever you were living in Scotland or Ireland. Came here, you could you could hunt deer and bear and such like in the forest, and maybe sell a few skins, sell a few trees for potash, and grow a few things just to keep your family alive. Although the winters must have been astonishingly cruel. lay up enough food for winter, you were going to starve because there's nothing here in the winter except what you can catch and kill. And then, suddenly, I was back on asphalt. After passing through Calabogi and a bit of lunch, I headed along Centennial Lake Road. A lovely road, much favoured for its endless corners, excellent surface and pleasant scenery. Inevitably, it attracts squids like these three morons. If I'd been a cop, I'd have charged them with street racing and impounded their bikes on the spot. But you can't let inconsiderate idiots spoil an otherwise excellent day. So I didn't. If you enjoyed this little bit of Eastern Ontario backroad riding, please subscribe to this channel. And better yet, buy my various motorcycle books in paperback, digital, and audiobook formats. Thanks for watching.